communication, art and visual, as more and more these days, we communicate through visual means. We turn on our computers, we turn on our phones, things have little dots and you touch them and they roll up and down. And we are, people make videos of their friends, they post on Facebook. More and more we are visual communicators as much as we are uh, verbal communicators. But both of these are um, very important for, I think, both for our culture, but, but also for just understanding each other in the world. I heard Renee Fleming, the great opera star, talk last night uh, to a group of, of New Yorkers from various places and, and all of them interested in education, and she's been going into the schools and singing with the kids. One of the plays they put together, operas, was Billy Goat Gruff, can you imagine? And she said some of these children, because there are no music classes in some of these schools, hadn't really learned how to sing, didn't know that they could open up their mouths and make music. And it's the same with when you don't have art classes, picking up a paintbrush, you know you can make color and line and rhythm. And these creative bursts and the, the ability to be creative I think is so important for young people to have as they grow up and move through the world. It, it also, talking about art, looking, about, looking at the arts, listening to a, an opera or, or seeing an opera or a play um, allows you uh, to move through the world with a certain, uh, I don't know if the word is grace, but a new understanding and inspiration. And I think we need that. We need that in education. And also it helps for abstract thinking skills. The arts really do lead into all kinds of critical skills that, that they need to know in social studies and uh, language arts and even math and science. If you need a practical application, just think how good old Steve Jobs turned an aesthetic point of view into a billion dollar business. Because what he did is design it and think about how That's it needed really to work. Good point. And it was better designed than anybody else's. His phones were better, his computers were better, and they were the ones everyone wanted to have. And I think that does apply in a lot of areas of uh, cars are the same way. The Guggenheim had a motorcycle show and they were amazing objects as well as something that my brother wanted to jump on and ride right out of the museum. So mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's not just about painting but certainly painting and sculpture are a place to start.